Hey folks, it's Mark with Fire Mountain Outdoors. Thanks for joining me today. You know what we're looking at? We're looking at the Glock 81. You like Glock 81, I know 17, I know 21. 81, bigger numbers, better. The Glock stabby thing. Stay tuned. So, we've got the Glock 81 stabby thing. You guys don't know anything about that, but most of you are familiar with the Glock shooty thing. I have Glock 17. It's a Glock, stone cold reliable. Let's check out the knife, the stabby thing, the Model 81. Frankly, I've never needed a stabby thingy. I'm all about cutty things and choppy things. This thing is definitely a stabby thing. I was at the local gun store the other day down there at Gators. I was picking up a rifle. They had this and it kind of fascinated me because I didn't have a stabby thing. You know, I've got a cutty thing that I carry all the time. My everyday carry is a Ken Onion Scallion, I believe. It's useful for cutting open boxes, cutting open tools. I use it for reaming pipe. I've gutted deer and elk and dressed and skinned and done everything with this. You know, uh, an old Texan once told me, he says, you know, boy, if you're not a warrior, the size of your knife is inversely proportional to the size of your package. <laughs> and I thought about that and that made sense because really having a big old giant knife has never really made any sense to me. I carry this little can onion scallion or chive or some kind of a onion based product knife and it's my everyday knife. I use it for all sorts of things. And then if I need to move up to something bigger, this is my favorite choppy thing. This here is a woodsman's foul. This has been well worn, beat up. I carry this on my quad. I use it when I'm in the woods. This is very effective as a choppy thing. So I've got a cutty thing and I have a choppy thing, but I didn't have a stabby thing. Gators had the stabby thing on the wall, so we're going to look at it. It's very skinny. It's very light. It weighs about eight ounces. Uh, it's got a very well-made handle and a very well-made sheath that are made out of the same material as this Glock handgun frame. Is it plastic, Mark? No Bob, no, Bob, it's not, it's plastic. not plastic, it's a, it's a polymer. polymer, for crying out loud. It's not a plastic <laughs> gun, it's a polymer. So, uh, let's see how reliable this is. So, you saw me just take the Glock and I shot and it was just uh, error free. Let's see if I draw the knife. <laughs> Seemed to be as reliable at stabbing as the Glock 17 is at shooting. So it's a fairly reliable stabby thing, uh, initial impressions. It has a sawtooth back on it. Let's just try that. See if we can cut something. What? You know what, folks, I'm actually impressed. We tried the, uh, we tried the Rambo 80s cheap survival knife, uh, and you can see that review over here. And uh, we played around with the blade and stuff on it. It was considerably less effective. Uh, this cut quite a wide curve in a short amount of time. Let's try the whittly side. It's kind of big and ungainly for, for whittling. I think if I was going to do that, I'd much rather use this little whittler. But it's pretty effective at whittling. The blade right out of the box isn't incredibly sharp. Uh, it could definitely use some honing. Seems to be very effective at 
I hope I never need to use it as a stabby thing, but by golly, if you need a stabby thing, this is a pretty ineffective stabby thing. Tink, 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 tink. And this, this would really suck at a, as a stabby thing. Dab, stab, dab. It's kind of blunt. This is not a... No stab. Be very careful because it doesn't have a good pommel on it or, or a hilt to keep you from cutting your fingers. This is much more effective as a stabby thing. So, uh, initial impressions is a Glock 81 stabby thing. If you need a stabby thing, it's got a very, 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 very hilt, uh, very effective catch on the hilt. Um, it's actually a, a finger thumb operation to get it out so you can take it and that's effective so that it doesn't fall out and then stabby stabby yourself or you lose it so economical i've looked at prices for other stabby things you can spend a lot of money on a stabby thing this thing was only like 30 bucks got it from gators in kelso washington so if you need a stabby thing, check out the Glock 81. Thanks for watching. All right, folks, Bob here. You know, Mark had all the fun with the stabby stabby thing today, but you know what? There's something else great about this that he missed. And uh, check this out, Glock. It's so utilitarian. It's got a bottle cap opener in it. And I got this bottle of Southern Oregon Brewing Company. Nice rack IPA I want to get into. So you know what? Look at that. It's got a poppy pop feature on it also. Not just a stabby stab, but it's a poppy pop. Anyway, catch you guys later.